Hello Internet, Stanley here. In this video I'd like to talk about why the interview, an American comedy movie about the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, made so much money and so quickly. What I think was the main reason for the popularity of the movie is that basically uh, resistance supports the problem or the thing that's being resisted. What I mean by that is, well, when Sonny put up the movie and uh, there suddenly uh, allegedly North Korean hackers tried to break down the Sony's website and make it unavailable for people to download the movie. Now, this has caused many news agencies worldwide to report that North Korean hackers took down Sony's website and their interview can't be downloaded anymore. So, in a sense, people who have never even heard and never even thought about such a, such a thing suddenly realized, oh, there's this movie, maybe I, I should watch it. And maybe when they kind of heard North Korean hackers and the movie about North Korean leader, they linked it together because from what I understand from the internet, uh, people in, well, North Korea doesn't like when people speak about North Korea in a way that isn't approved by North Korea. Now, I haven't watched the movie and I have never been to North Korea, so I can't really say whether it's accurate, but like, come on people, it's a comedy movie, and in case you were expecting any truth whatsoever to be in a comedy movie about a country like North Korea, which, well, doesn't really share much, much of its internal state with the rest of the world. Now, I th think you have a little bit of a problem there. So, really, I don't think there is any truth actually in the movie. What I however think is that, um, from what I understand, uh, Kim Jong-un or actually any leader in North Korea is a very, very respected person and if somebody tries to ridicule them by an unapproved comedy movie it would make sense that they try to banish it from the internet so no one on earth can actually, can actually watch them being ridiculed in a movie. Well, as I said before, this might have actually made the movie more popular and might have only supported it, so it could be possible that there were no North Korean hackers whatsoever and perhaps somebody else. Perhaps it might have been even Sony who took down their website and claimed that North Korean hackers did it. However, um, there isn't really enough data, at least not available to me, to really judge or try to kind of figure out what happened. So I think we'll have to leave that open and I think I'm going to watch the interview now. Thanks for watching and bye bye.